This I command you, to love one another. John 15, 17. Hi everyone, I'm Fee and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that you guys are feeling blessed and in great spirits. If this is your first time joining me today, welcome. And if you've been here all along with me, thank you for returning. I'm so very grateful. Um, today we're going to be discussing my recent purchase from Marc Jacobs. And if you're interested in hearing all about that, stick with me. Please like and subscribe to my channel, if you will, and click on the notification bell. That will let you know when I have new videos posted. Before we get started, I really want to talk about some of the craziness going on in my life right now, like the decisions I can't make. Some of the hardest decisions in the world for me are really minute compared to what's going on in the world today. And so I feel very blessed that this is actually a problem for me. I stand in front of my fragrance counter and go, what fragrance am I going to wear today? What do I feel like smelling like today? And if you know anything about zodiac signs, I don't really follow them, but I'm a Libra, which means I'm pretty indecisive at times. And so it makes it so hard. But today, I really am very interested in sharing with you what I'm wearing as my scent of the day. I love it. And I wanted to encourage you to get your nose on it as well. Okay, before we get started, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going on in my life. Do I look confused today? Because I am. I have these beautiful earrings. I couldn't quite decide which one to put on. I purchased them on Amazon. I love them both, and I wanted to share them with you. Um, Big Red, I'm going to let you choose which one I should keep on today for the video. I couldn't decide. <laughs> this one? Okay. <laughs> but I'll have these linked below for you guys. They're very affordable couple of bucks not expensive at all very budget friendly and so here we go these were my choices today and big red said go with this i i agree with you i think this is a little more flashier for something a little more dressier than what i'm wearing today however if you like what i'm wearing today the off the shoulder sweatshirt i'm wearing this is also going to be linked below i bought this in several colors on amazon and once again it's so affordable and I love it going into fall because it gets cooler in the evenings and it's breezier out here during the day. We don't live too far from the beach here in Southern California. And this type of stuff I can wear all year round. It never gets too hot or too cold. But right now, this is the perfect thing to wear. I had on some denim cut off shorts and, you know, I like a little shoulder action <laughs> wearing the off the shoulder thing. It's so important to me to feel good in my clothing and this is comfortable. I like to be relaxed and comfortable and a little dressy and trendy. And I love color because I'm a Libra and I love color. So I'm very flamboyant. So if you like the shirt, it'll be linked below. Very affordable. The earrings, very affordable, or these will be there as well. And if you like the lip color I have on today, um, I have on NYX the Powder Puff Lippy, and this one is in the color of Baby. I have it on, so I'm not going to put it back on again. But I put this on first, and this is an actual matte. But I wanted it to be a little glossy, which I hope I did today. So I got the NYX Butter Gloss, which I will also li list below in the description box for you for purchase if you like. And I have affiliate links for the earrings, the shirt the lipsticks and the gloss. I'll put a little more of this on right now. I love it. At any rate, let's get started with what we're here for today. So all of these will be linked below. But oh, let me talk about my scent of the day. I forgot to mention that. This is the latest fragrance from Latafa. It's the Yara Twos. And it's another flanker of the Yara. Now I have the pink Yara. I have Yara Moy in the white bottle. I have Assad in the black bottle. And this is my fourth bottle of Yara. And this is a tropical vanilla fruity fragrance. It has coconut, mango, passion fruit, jasmine, heliotrope, orange blossom, vanilla, cashmere, and musk. And you know, I love musk. So I have this one, but it was kind of fruity and tropical. And since we're leaving summer headed to fall, I thought I should make it a little heavier and not so light. This is gonna be perfect for summer and spring, but I still wanted to smell the coconut and mango. So I mixed it. I layered it, I should say, with Infinity Rose. And this is a fragrance by Maison Alhambra. Now this to me, I'll be honest with you, this I could wear year round by itself with nothing else. I love this. It reminds me of, and I believe it's inspired by, 
Initio's Atomic Rose. And this one has, it's unisex, it has pink pepper, bergamot, hedione, uh, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, Egyptian jasmine, Madagascar vanilla, and amber. And I'm an amber floral musk powdery scent person. Just love it. And I love gourmand scents. So this giving it the coconut, the mango tropical on top of the rose and all that I mentioned in the amber, it just smells really good. It makes a gourmand and it makes this less heavy. Now I will tell you, this is very long lasting. Um, I bought it maybe two weeks ago and I've been wearing it on and off in the evenings. And um, I washed clothes the other day and went and got my t-shirt out of the dryer and I went to fluff the t-shirt while it was warm to hang it up. And I smell something. I was like, what the heck is that? And it smelled like this. And I brought the t-shirt in close. It was still on my clothing after I washed it. So this is very long lasting. And I'm telling you, this is very close to Atomic Rose by Nishio, which is a $300 plus $400 fragrance somewhere in there. This cost me $25. And the Yara Tous cost me $29. And they can be yours today on Amazon. I have links below in the in the description box okay so if you're interested in any of that go down there and take a look alrighty let's get to what we're here for now I feel foolish because I did a video before and I was saying I probably wasn't gonna buy any more uh, Marc Jacobs but they got me again and so hence the title of the thumbnail for this video oops I did it again cuz I did so let's take a look and see what I got <laughs> look at that isn't that beautiful oh my goodness I got the tote bag but I got this one in the smaller version and it's the pink pebbled leather and I'll talk about it in just a minute now you remember when I got the bigger one right and I wasn't really happy with it I bought the divider to go inside and it's a red divider, if you can see that there. Can you see a big red? The insert, the organizer. I got that, and it helped add some structure to the bag, but I wasn't too happy with the way it was wearing on the corners, and I had only taken it out twice and a third time to take photos of it for the video. And so, be honest with you, I've only carried it three times since I've had it. And I just wasn't as happy with this size as I think I'm going to be with this size and like I said in the video I did on Marc Jacobs on this tote if you have a chance go back and take a look at it I was talking about how I think the smaller bags they're just put together a little bigger the larger the bag gets the mm, less structure it seems and I don't know for some reason or another lately they just don't seem to be holding up the way they used to however when I saw this sweetie pie and you know I had my heart set on the lavender, but it was the year anniversary of my sister's passing. And one of her sorority colors is powder pink or baby pink. And her colors are baby pink and baby blue. And so her favorite color was baby pink and baby blue. She wore it all the time, she loved it. And I know she died before Christmas last year in August. It's been a year August. And we did a Christmas tree for her um, in December and we made it powder pink and baby blue. So when I saw this, my first inkling was to get it in lavender because I thought that's what I wanted for myself. But when I saw the pink, it was as if she just led me right to it and said, you know, you got to get that pink one now. And I'm not a big pink person unless it's usually like a fuchsia or a deeper hot pink. But this just speaks to me. So I don't know if my sister spirit led me to it, but I got it and I love it. I've ordered my organizer to go inside and it's actually small enough that I probably didn't have to get an organizer, but I want one anyways, because I like my bags to be structured. Here's the strap and all the goodies that come inside. I'll put them down here and get them out the way and the dust bag. And as you know, uh -oh, it's just an open bucket bag, basically, with a patch pocket here. And it's got the magnetic closure on the side with the zip. Oh, I'm having a hard time here because I didn't take my, let me take my scissors and cut this off because this is getting in the way of me zipping it. And I want to make sure it zips properly. OK. 
Okay, there we go. All right, so the zip goes across the top. It has the magnetic closure here with the magnet in here and no other pockets. So literally, this is all there is to this bag. And here's the handle. And there's a little coin pocket right here. Here's the, the patch pocket and there's another little pocket right here. But other than that, that's all there is to this bag. But because I'm learning to carry crossbodies and smaller bags, I don't have to carry the big mom totes anymore and the big handbags anymore because my kids are all grown. I'm gonna enjoy this. I forgot to get the shoes I bought to go with it. I bought some um, low dunks in the baby pink and white. And I'll have Big Red post a picture of them for you because I forgot to bring them in here for the video. Sorry about that. But I got some low dunks to go with them. And I'll get the paper off later. And I'm gonna be ready with a white button down shirt some denim jeans i'll be cute pretty and pink <laughs> and i like that and guess what every time i wear this color i'm going to think of my baby sister danielle who passed away a year ago and um big red surprised me on her anniversary with a trip to hawaii so we took an early vacation to hawaii that i had no knowledge we were going to go to and I think what it was is that he understood that that time being the first year anniversary of her passing was gonna be very anxiety and stressful, anxiety ridden and stressful for me. And I was already starting to have what they call anticipatory grief. You start grieving before the date even gets here. I mean, I've been grieving every day since she's passed, but literally grieving because the date was coming and I was getting more and more anxious about it. So he planned a trip for myself and my son, and we went to Hawaii for a week. During her anniversary, I got to write her name in the sand. We stepped off the plane and got laid right away. <laughs> and so I took the lay with me to the beach and used it to dot the I in her name. Now her name was Danielle, but we called her Danny. So I wrote Danny in the sand, and that ocean was so beautiful. And for some reason, it was pretty calm when we got there. But as I started to write her name, and I was far up on the beach, not right on the shore side. I wanted to be far enough away from the water so it wouldn't come and wash her name away. But before, as soon as I finished putting her name in the sand and we took the pictures with the lay there in, in the eye of Danny, I kid you not, four minutes later, it was washed away. I can't believe how far up the sand the ocean came and washed it away. And to me, it was just very spiritual. It was there one moment and gone the next. And that lets you know how quick life is. It's blink of an eye. So today, if I was going to say anything, I would say love your loved ones, hug your babies, tell people that you haven't spoken to in a while that you love them if you do, and just reach out. I'm one of those types of people that stays in contact with everybody. When I pledged a sorority back in college 40 years ago, I um, was the chaplain of my sorority. And I was the one who was always staying connected with everybody. So if somebody lost contact with somebody, they would contact me and say, how do I get a hold of so-and-so? And I go, oh, got that number for you. Because I'm that type of person. I'm the one in the family who keeps in touch with everybody. And it's important and it's served me well. And I'm very glad to be that person. And I love it. I want to I want to know what's going on. I want to know if people need prayer. I want to know what's happening in the lives of others. And I really feel like, you know, our universal purpose here on earth and it's everybody's purpose. We don't always know what our personal purpose is, but the universal purpose is to be here for other people and not just ourselves. Don't be just self-serving, to also serve others and be there for those in need. And just, you know, love your family, love your family, because you could not have told me that my baby sister would be gone today. But in her honor and for her first anniversary, this is what I treated myself to, and I'm going to love it. And my organizer's coming tomorrow, so I'm so excited because I have to wait till tomorrow to get the organizer to put all my goodies in here. But I'll come back in a few weeks and let you know how I like it. So far, the color is lighter than the red, so I'm a little nervous because, you know, the red one was starting to show a little dirty wear on the corners, and I'd only carried it twice. So I'm going to kid glove this and take care of it because I want to always keep it in memory of my sister. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that um, 
I don't know, that you guys, like I said, just love on your loved ones, take care of your family members, and most importantly, also take care of yourself. That's so important. Self-care is everything. Be good to yourself. And um, I hope God blesses you guys tremendously. I pray it is well with your soul because God is with you. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Guess what I did? I have a video coming up for Hawaii. I did film that, so we vlogged that, and we're working on getting that together. There's a lot of moving parts to that. And yesterday, I made another handbag purchase, but it's getting shipped to me, so I don't have it yet. But I'll do that video next week for you guys when it gets here. Take care. God bless. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the notification bell if you will and make some comments let me know i want to talk to you guys let's talk about it do you like this color would you have purchased this color is this a maybe for you do you want to know how i like it um and i should know because i'm going to get into it tomorrow when my organizer gets delivered and i'm going to have the organizer also linked below so the earrings the shirt the perfumes i'm wearing and the organizer for the bag will all be linked below and the affiliate links from amazon and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much. God bless and take care. See you next video. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you